and welcome to this video of the VW Passat 1.5 TSI Evo which is the 1.5 petrol engine it's the uh, timing chain driven engine it's 2019 registered April the 12th 2019 uh, one former keeper this vehicle was bought by the last owner in 2020 uh, so what's that two almost well two and a half years ago and uh, it was from Arnold Clark's VW this just came in as a part exchange against a 4x4 uh, the reason being the previous owner now has moved up to Scotland from uh, up near Manchester way and uh, needs a four wheel drive so they bought a four wheel drive from us and that's how we've ended up having this vehicle let's start with the condition as you can see very good condition that's the corner of that bumper there. Obviously, we've to taken a hundred photos on the Auto Trader advert, which you can inspect. So, a 30,000 mile condition. It is in 30,000 mile condition. There's no uh, major chips, uh, stuck chip anywhere on the uh, paintwork at all. It's got the LED and xenon lights as well. Got the lower fog lights down there, front parking sensors and the rear ones of course. There's no scuffs or scratches on the corners of the uh, bumpers or on the wings, anything like that. It's got the branded tyres on, the bridge stones on the front, uh, very good condition alloy wheels, uh, the brake disc in good condition, obviously 30,000 mile condition as well. Windscreen, uh, very good, no chips or cracks. It's got the Bosch windscreen wipers which is always a good sign to see it's got the branded wipers on. Backs the wing mirrors very good as you can see. No scratches or chips or condensation in that indicator. That door panel there, very nice. It's just been uh, polished as well, this one, a good wax as well. So all the paintwork is very nice and smooth. There's no dents or scratches anywhere. The uh, privacy glass pack as you can see so the rear windows are all tinted because it's the business um, edition as well so it has got the sat nav uh, features so it's got the reverse parking sensors as you can see there Arnold Clark that's the guys who registered it the vehicle let's say no scuffs or scratches on the edge of the bumpers at all all the lights are nice and clean no cracks, no condensation. It's all nice and clean in there. Give me a disc are very good as well. So all the discs are very good. is very clean wing there very clean our wheel and the bonnet and this side windscreen as well the original VW windscreen as you can see it's got the lights and rain sensor package as well automatic lights and uh, wiper operation okay so that's the outside of the vehicle covered so no damage to report at all it's a lovely nice shiny black color uh, which is a solid black i believe i don't think it's a metallic so we're gonna open the tailgate through this badge here inside as you can see it's got the parcel shelf which is fully working order it's a two-stage clicks so if you press it once there it clicks to there press it again and it goes backwards so it's a two-stage uh, retractable system should we say uh clean as you can see and if you lift underneath You've got a uh, slimline space saving spare, tool kit, locking wheel nut and the first aid kit. So that's all in place as well. You've got these little handles there which pull and the seats will fold down. As you can see it's a split fold rear seat which is a 40-40-20. That's the split ratio. 
but that bike down here is in good condition as you can see the plastic's in good condition a few little light lacquer marks on the top of the bumper as to be expected obviously people that buy estates use them uh, for estate purposes whether it's to put the dogs in etc uh, this one's not bad there is evidence of just zoom in here there's little evidence of little tiny dog hairs there very minute so it has had some dogs in this I must make you aware it doesn't smell uh, so I know some really smell bad but this doesn't smell of dogs but there are dog hairs that's the warning triangle up there all oh, that's in nice clean condition the dogs haven't been scratching on there pull that back down let's look in the back door cards very clean electric rear windows the carpet and door cards the speaker grills are in nice condition oh this is nice there the plastic's not scratched or worn there's no trap seat belt marks on the door shuts there at all backs the seats are very clean and tidy that's got the temperature there so it's got the uh, free zone climate control this one as you can see it's got the center armrest for the drinks holder uh, three rear headrests and three rear seat belts it's also got the child isofix anchoring points there child seat ones so it's got four anchoring points enough for two seats the tailor fitted car mat set as well oh that's nice and clean i'll show you the roof oh, the roof is nice and clean as you can see in the roof rails don't look like they've had uh, the roof bars clamped to them as you can see there's no evidence or signs of any marks for the roof bars okay that door card's nice and clean same again electric rear window all oh, this is nice and clean it's got the side airbags as well this one it's the side airbags which is an extra and then obviously the door shuts are in immaculate condition back to the seats nice and clean and that seat is nice and clean as well passenger side front nice and clean carpeted door pockets again airbag on and off as well for the front oh, this is nice and clean same again no trap seat belt marks anywhere no worn rubbers uh, it's got the passenger side front height adjustment as well and lumbar support that's lumbar support and that's that okay so uh, they are the sport style seats as you can see sport style seats that's a lovely uh, honeycomb uh, design pattern silver trim and the fitted carpet set there as well all this plastic is in immaculate condition no scratches or scuffs the door shuts are nice and clean as well let's go to the uh, driver's door all nice and clean uh, four electric windows electric folding heated wing mirrors so they fold so if I just twist that button there they should fold like so and then if I fold it back it should fold out again yep so folding mirrors central locking button uh, automatic boot popper carpeted uh, bottle holder there uh, all the pedals are nice and clean as you can see it's got the car mat there all the door shuts nice and clean and all that plastic area is nice and clean as well and there's no damage to there with any trap seat belt marks or worn rubbers so no one's been rubbing up against that worn rubber there and all this area is nice and clean where the seat belt is so it's all nice and clean the front seat the driver's seat it's in 30,000 mile condition very good the bolster's not worn at all it's also got the Ergo Comfort, if you can see that, Ergo Comfort settings there. So it's electric uh, adjustment for the driver. So it's a semi-electric adjustment, should I say. So it's a semi-electric adjustment there for the uh, driver's seat. Let's get in this vehicle. Let's close the door. So it's the Business Edition SE as well. So it's got the big screen uh, navigation, as you can see there. It's also got the heated seats, front heated seats, and it's got the uh, free zone climate control so it's got the left and right temperature settings uh, as well so on this head unit you've got obviously you've got your radio uh, your media your phone your voice etc uh, your menu for the car the apps as well and the sat nav so yeah so if you go to the radio you can see uh, capital D1 means DAB media obviously you can pay, play your music through the AUX 
or your phone uh, your phone as well it's a phone that was the chap's name before mark uh, and then you've got a menu here with all these uh, Carnet, App Connect as well, etc. You can load the images if you miss your family, your girlfriend, your dog. You can put the uh, images there so you can see them. Uh, sat nav, of course. Then the apps there. Welcome to that. So it has got the Apple CarPlay, etc. Mirror Link and Android Auto. Uh, what else have we got here? If we press down here, you've got the mode, driving mode. So press that there. And you've got your Eco, Normal, Sport and Individual. Obviously, it means the car drives a little bit faster and slower, whichever one you choose. You've got your stop, start, on and off button there. This is the keyless uh, stop and start, stop engine. So you've got two keys here as well, both remote alarm, both working. And it is the uh, keyless stop, start uh, feature as well. Also, we've got auto hold, which is a good feature as well. Obviously, especially if you've got an electric handbrake, uh, because obviously if you're going up a hill and you put your foot on the brake for more than three seconds, the auto hold will hold for three seconds to stop you from rolling backwards. Uh, down here, where this this is, if you push that back, you can see the USB input there and the charger. And you've also got the wireless phone charging uh, docking station there as well. Analog clock, the old style clock, which is a bit of a classic feature. Uh, down here, you've got another 12 volt here. You've got the sliding shut door for the drinks holder. Nice immaculate as well, the two keys. So there in your armrest, lift up. Additional USB and AUX input for the music. So this one's for the music, for the USB, and this is the USB charging port there. Okay, on the steering wheel, which is leather as well. Leather and the high gloss piano black trim. You've got the adaptive cruise control. So that's the adaptive cruise control, meaning the cruise control uh, will be the one that follows the car, keeps a safe distance in between you and the car in front and slows down. Uh, if the car in front slows down, that's adaptive Cruise control meaning it adapts to the car in front. And you've got your volume setting there, and then you've got your voice command and your um, left and right features and your view little functions there. Next program up and down. Uh, your indicator stalk, intermittent wash wipe stalk, of course. Obviously, your sat nav can be displayed up here as well, as you can see at the moment. Set to that. Uh, we've got a bit of fuel in this, so it's good. Automatic lights. I'm going to switch the engine off so it reveals the mileage. So it's, uh, yeah, there we go. So it's 30,898. Okay, so it says service in 1100 miles. So this is due a service in February. February, it's due a service, February 2023, uh, or 1100 miles. Obviously, we are going to get this serviced because it's got 1100 miles left. So it will be serviced this week. Uh, so it'll have a fresh service on it. The MOT is not due until uh, April as well. So April MOT. So we are going to put a new MOT on this as well. Obviously April's not, it's less, just under six months away. So we may as well put a new MOT on uh, as well. And if you do decide to buy, buy, buy this vehicle via finance, it has to have more than six months MOT anyway. So we're going to get that done, so it'll have a fresh MOT, it'll have a fresh oil service as well. The last service was a major one by the VW dealers, which is all documented as well. Uh, all the invoices and paperwork, as you can see there, it's one former keeper. So it was serviced by Arnold Clarks and MOT by Arnold Clarks, VW, uh, last off. So I'm just going to pull the paperwork out. Let's see if we can get this. That's the logbook. Yes, so it was. Uh, Arnold Clark did the MOT uh, 22,000 miles uh, in March so it's done early a few weeks earlier so it expires in April 2023 so it was 22,000 miles it's just turned 30 so it's done 8,000 miles since April uh, we're now in November uh, and then obviously oh this vehicle did have a private plate on so this is the health report from the VW uh, dealership for the last time 8,000 miles ago so that's all here it's all signed off uh, and that's the uh, so that was the private plate before x121 lsa and obviously you've got the handbook there as well the heated seats nice and hot i switched that on earlier uh, that's nice and warm up in the glove box you've got the uh, air conditioning vent there to cool the cans of pop in the summer uh, you've got the SD card holder and CD slot there as well. I'm going to 
see under the bonnet now. Pop that open. That's that there, so pull that. That's the engine, it's the 1.5 timing chain TSI engine. As you can see, everything is untouched under here, nice and clean. It's got the uh, VW battery as well, obviously, because it's only it's just turned three years old, so, or almost three years old. And it's, uh, as you can see, it's all nice, clean, and tidy. It is HPI clear, meaning that it hasn't been involved in any accident or insurance claim. All this is nice and clean up here. the anti-freeze it's nice bright and red so it will have a new service just close that bonnet let's walk around the vehicle once more if you've got a part exchange please let us know by messaging us the reg number and mileage of your current vehicle we we'll try our hardest to uh, get you a good price based on the live auto trader uh, data also we do do finance we are fca registered we have got our own in-house finance team led by James. So James will give you a call if you're interested in finance, take a few personal details which will determine your uh, credit score. If your credit score is obviously good, you'll get a lower rate of interest. If it's high, then obviously you'll get a higher, uh, sorry, if it's low, you'll get a higher interest rate, unfortunately. Okay, hope you enjoyed the uh, video and thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon.